What is up everybody, it's Adam from Zoinkmeister, and I'm starting this playthrough of Tekken 7 on the PS4. I'm starting with the prologue. I remember Starings of Destiny. Starings of Destiny? I didn't read it very well. Scribbled on it were the words, I love you. Oh, how nice. I was so <clears throat> Sorry for the raspiness of my voice, by the way. I just ate some Hot Pockets, and I really should have cleared my throat before time, I started recording. I believe that love was all anyone needed. For some years now, I've been investigating a certain father and son. Oh my and god, that's creepy. To get a hold of the first letter the boy wrote to his father. Really? It said, Father, one day, I will tear you to pieces. Wow. I don't know how he got that. I can't even remember the first thing I ever wrote to my parents. Let alone what I would possibly do with it several decades ago. Oh, he's teaching his son how to fight ever so happily. Oh! Your hair is so sharp. Oh my god, I can see why. His hair is even sharper. He tempted. Oh boy, that took away half health. I don't need no assist. So, uh, explaining the history of what I have with Tekken, I've actually played all of them. Um, oh boy. And I'm not gonna lie, at the time of the recording of this video, I have already platinumed this game. And, uh... Wow, look at him go. Uh, but see, the thing is, the story has, like, really interesting over-the-top top parts, but I cannot remember anything in between those over-the-top moments. So, um, this will kind of, uh, kind of be a jog of memory for me as well. Okay, I remember this from, like, the Tekken 1 and 2 explanation. God, Young Heihachi is just so extra. What is- Oh, I- I throw him off the cliff. Okay. Child murder! Hooray! Tekken 7. The King of Iron Fist Tournament. <laughs> and the game immediately cuts to Uncharted gameplay. You know, I really like their outfits. I feel like not enough evil-looking soldiers ever go with, like, light blue as a compliment for their outfits. The whole uniform accents, I, I think, are really nice. Like, you wouldn't think they'd go that well with, like, tans, but apparently they do. They pulled it off. Oh my god, the lone wanderer, Nathan Drake. I couldn't imagine being in an entire room where we all had jobs on the computer and we were forced to use touchscreen LCDs. It just sounds so inconvenient. As leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, Jin Kazama plunged the world into war. Sounds rational. He sent the human race to hell, all so he could save it. Hmm. Sounds very Hitlery. Hatred envelops the globe, filling it with despair. Just as Jean predicted, Earth's despair awoke Azazel, an ancient beast sealed deep underground because of its threat to humanity. It was the plan all along. Jean defeated Azazel in battle. Saved the I really like how. Uh... But could the world it, really it's just like, oh yeah, I had to doom the world so this giant monster would appear here so I could slay it. Began, I'm the ultimate hero. Has now evolved into a battle between the Mishima also, I'm sorry if you can hear the thumping in the, in the background. I, I really should disconnect that thing. But it's too late now. So now it's just in the background. This is my life now. Jesus. I couldn't imagine being the guy who has to hold the Gatling gun. I feel like you have to be really buff for that. Like, do they choose you for that, or do you try out for it? They're just like, and you're the Gatling gun guy. You better start working out 
because you also carry the ammo on your back. I always like these games, like Resident Evil, where like the main bad guy is a corporation that is like somehow stronger than like an entire country. I also like the fact that she speaks English and they're speaking Japanese and everyone just understands each other. In fact, I, I can't remember, but I believe that just happens throughout the entire Tekken series. Like everyone actually speaks the language of their native countries and they just understand each other universally. Oh boy, he's back. He doesn't let male pattern baldness stop his spiky hairness. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really should start clearing my throat before I record. Maybe some vocal training. Something to really get the pipes the pipes juiced. It's a giant building. They like made it evil. If there were demons in this world, what form would they take? The answer to that question still Chapter is One The King of Iron Fist returns. That day I was reporting from a battlefield gathering news about the war to bring to the world. When I headed back to the barracks, a message was waiting for me. I was dumbstruck. How could my hometown have come under attack? Oh dear. When I returned, nothing Oh my god. <laughs> it would be like war-torn. But I didn't know it was going to be on fire. Now tanks and armored Jesus. Line the streets like an iron wall. Oh, this is current conflict? A thick fog of ash what kind of apocalyptic sky, fighting <laughs> in the fire nonsense is this? Blackened trees, the burning ground, the pungent burnt air. The place I once called home was now just an ashen field. And streets echoed with the memories of playing children and delivery trucks. Wow. Everyone I loved had been lost to the past. That day, my old life ended, and a new one began. In my loneliness and despair, a hatred grew inside me. Very rationally so. Do they really require you to wear helmets when you're, like, you know, the IT guys? Unknown intruder. Bullets can't stop my muscles. What? Just so nonchalant. Who's there? Field of knocked out guys. Oh. You know, I get that the Tekken series is supposed to be like, these are just regular super strong humans. But like, look at this. Look at how extra this is. The elevator is a giant claw machine that grips the ends of these things. Like, what is that? It's just over the top. And I mean, I understand like, like, the main family of Tekken is like super duper human strength. What are you doing? Just ridiculous. Him, quick. What are you doing besides your job? Stop doing your job and kill him. Okay, they can clearly shoot from here, right? Okay, yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, that is not at all how... Okay, very rational. He can't block these. I'm an idiot for thinking otherwise. I can't believe I don't re remember something as ridiculous as him deflecting missiles with just punches and kicks. Oh, what a pain in the neck. Yeah, I only played Ori once, like the first two days this game came out and kind of just did the fights after that that required for the platinum. So I really don't remember a lot of what's going on, but Everything is just so extra, it's fantastic. And they're getting up real edgy. Oh boy, they have guns, but they're choosing to fight with their fists. 
He's got that Japanese old man strength. Oh. 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 He headbutt someone in the helmet and they lost. Ooh. Not too. Hihachi's never been one of my mains. Oh. Drop him. I said drop him. Headbutt. Okay, you need to be dropped. Boom. Okay, you can block all you want. I'll just grab out of it. Yeah! Kamehameha! He's so pompous. Pomp and circumstance. And the giant spider crab elevator robot finally ascended to the top. Man, whoever was the architect did a fantastic design. Catwoman, it's you. What do you want now, Heihachi Mishima? Some more of that mixed, we all speak different languages but can understand each other nonsense. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I started out on the wrong side. Ah, oh, she's slippery. Okay, that should be the setup. Yes! Kamehame. Ha! <laughs> She's perfectly fine in the next cutscene. Everyone is. Everyone's so beautiful and Tekken. Perfect. No one ever gets sweaty. Everyone's just so gorgeous. You're right. Guys, transfer the entire company, all of his assets and all of the manpower over to this guy based off of his one rational sentence. I've also always liked the the bad guy hacks into every single screen on the planet nonsense. I've always loved that, it's nonsense.
ザ・キング・オブ・アイアン・フィスト・トーナメントの開催をここに宣言する That's not what I thought at all. I'm just driving through the middle of the desert. Excuse me, sir. Just now. Hey, Hachi, m i s s you. Hey, Hachi. Yeah, I'm going to get you. I've always liked the really muscular businessman suit. Where, like, they're so buff, but they dress so nice. It's like, could you imagine working under him? The coffee's cold, and he just smashes you through the wall. Okay, so actually, I think this is a good place to stop, so we'll continue with chapter 2 when we return. Uh, remember, uh, actually, sorry, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Really do appreciate the view. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can with the comments. Thanks again for watching. It's been Adam Zoinkmeister, Tekken 7. This is part 1, part 2, coming at you soon. Thank you.